So brothers, I'm telling you, this is an honor and a privilege. God is speaking to us to becoming one, no matter where we live. I'm on the West Coast, you're in the Midwest, you're on the East Coast, you may be in the other side of the world, but until man becomes one and until, until the body of Christ becomes one, we will be fragmented, separated, and we'll be continually disenfranchised and scattered. We don't need to be scattered, we need to be together. To God be the glory, it's an honor and a privilege. Bless you all. Well, bless you as well, brother. First off, I want to just say thank you for giving us a master class in maturity. You know, I was taking copious notes. I was furiously taking notes because you struck a chord. You resonated with something deep in the core of my being. And as men, that I'm sure that it resonated with many others as well. You're saying that there are, and I've got my notes to show, but um, you're talking about reconciliation more than anything. When we're in that conflict, and as Christians, as men of, men of God, we're going to face conflict just like anybody else that's in the that's in the world. Conflict happens because people are not always going to agree with you. But you're saying that in the midst of any conflict that we encounter, that reconciliation is the goal, is the aim, is the end game. So you shared a masterful plan of being able to engage in that ministry of reconciliation. Apostle Williams, we appreciate and we honor and thank you for the insightful message that you brought us. And brothers, and those of you that are listening later on, I implore you to take the time to go back through this message and just begin to unpack because he gave us the scriptural uh, foundation. He gave us the faith understanding so that we're able to be able to, to get better and better, gooder and gooder, that we are able to become better men because of the foundation that he has just laid. That As we walk through life, we have certain goals, aims, and, and processes. Things have happened that we can't necessarily undo, but we can undo the damage emotionally that it does to us. And he shared with us that that emotional damage can, can anchor in. But when we take it to the Lord, that he's able to remove that anchor and to, re, and to take that burden off of us so that we can stand up and be all that we were called to be. Thank you, Apostle Williams. That message resonated with me. And we hope, we know that it's going to reach and touch those that are 